with that being said though i guess we'll go ahead and jump right into this game here um we're gonna go same thing as last time not gonna go explorer we'll go easy though and uh hope that this game's a little bit more balanced uh in some parts but it's it's been so long i have seen uh uncharted one playthroughs a while ago so like i kind of remember that game a little bit this one it's almost nothing so this one follows more of like a marco polo line what's going on That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of I think I blood. actually remember this sequence. Wakes up in a train hanging off of the cliff. To a good start all right so chapter one a rock in a hard place move to the left or right let me actually check the uh, audio here okay so I think it actually remains the same for the settings Uh, actually, are we supposed to go that way? Drag going to the left. Yep, yep, that's more promising. Up, go up. Don't dilly dally. Just get out of here. I think this one might be like one of the the first Uncharted games I played. Um, I think I played like maybe parts of uh, two, and then after playing a little bit, I went back and played one, and then. Uh, Okay. Then went all the way through to something like that. I don't remember exactly, honestly. Three is when I really realized how much I was into the game. Rip. <laughs> first death within the first, what? Five minutes. Oh no, you have to start all the way from down here. Alright. Yeah, if only you had a parachute, man. I'm surprised that you didn't even get hit by that thing. So keep going up. Keep trying to go to keep going to the left, keep going, keep going, and then he goes to the right. It's okay. It's okay. All right, here we go. So hold in the direction you want to swing. I'm 
afraid. Oh god, that one worked. Alright, we're good, we're good. I'm over the ledge. Uh, okay. Alright. We're good, we're good. You're good. Good. Oh god. Not so good. Alright, to the right. Imagine the strength you need to try to climb out of something like this not only the strength but like the willpower to actually do it too go 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 I don't think that intro could have gotten any more intense. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? That's all I can catch both. some seas. All right, sounds good, man. Come here. I hear you. I've got a job for us. Really? A client it's is early, to early with a for huge you. sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. Speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. She's in uh, Lost best. Legacy. Right, look. Which I have yet to Got play. To figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what Bob's your uncle. is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. Mongolian oil lamp. Oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father... Maffeo and I were robbed of our Polo greatest treasures. Marco Polo is the nutcase. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China. 
with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters Shelter the fate, fate of the, the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, there you have it. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Waking up in a train, falling off a cliff. <laughs> it's cool how they do that uh flashback there's a uh a treasure over here so i'm gonna pick it up real quick first treasure Must find shelter. There we go. Oh no! Wait, pick up the gun. There's a gun. And oh, there's another treasure. There you go. So now in this game, when you pick up treasure automatically, it uh, it shows you what it is on the right hand side compared to the first game. It's always locked. Uh, the first game you have to actually open up the menu to see what it was. I want to reload. All right. He's alive. Boy, Karma's a bitch. Seems like we have a lot more ammo this time too. At least right, right now we have seventy-five bullets, and the pistol holds. It looks like maybe like fifteen, twenty. Compared to the last one, only holding, uh, like maybe nine. And then you could have you capped out at like 30 uh 30 rounds just about boom oh good god a good place to fall asleep at All right, I don't think he's waking up sometime soon. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. 
When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think this is like the only one where they introduce like a second, like, partner for, uh, for Nathan Drake. I kind of forget how it plays out, honestly. But we shall see. This one, I really have like, off the top of my head, I have like no memory for besides the intro sequence. Three, I remember a good amount of parts, especially, uh, some parts where there's a runway involved is probably one of my favorite parts as well but this one not so much it definitely looks like a uh a battle area It's the bull four months earlier. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> better than you do. Well, you may fancy <coughs> that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah. And we won't. We're here. So in this one, there's 26 chapters. Last one, there is 22, I think. Two? Two? This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. My chair adaptable. isn't even that old that. and it's already so noisy. There. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, oh, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You 
sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Breaking and entering. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? <laughs> squidgy. Interesting. It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? I feel like it gets like so quiet at some points. Oh wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Give me a boost. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. <laughs> Every time I see that kind of backpack that Flynn is wearing, here it comes. I always think of uh, <laughs> Swinter Cell Conviction. Because Sam Fisher runs around the entire game with that kind of backpack. And like a uh, like a sweater or something like that. The one that like straps over your shoulder and it's like a little pack in the back of it. Here we go. We're good. Fragile, do not stack. Okay, yeah. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, yeah, what? What? <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting on him for, for that. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. This is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. Already got it. You got it. What? There you go. I was gonna say you better go quick there. The environment seems so quiet. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Till Hey, I'm gonna turn the uh just the in-game volume up a bit. Well, you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? Alright. That should be a little bit better. locked good job i came prepared <laughs> i pick more than my nose my friend oh, wait there's an alarm oh, that's nuisance last time oh, great now what well i can disarm it if we can All find the, the cables box. it's got to be around here somewhere follow the red and keep going like this yeah Is that it? It looks like maybe. <clears throat> yeah. Wouldn't you be afraid that all the power would be shut off? All right, we're in. <laughs> Not just that thing. Shit. 
I don't think that alarm is I got just it. connected to that. Lights out. <laughs> He slapped him in the back of his head and knocks him out. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. Why can't I get out of cover? Jeez. Oh, they, want, they wanted get me to, that to do it like that. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. That's convenient. Oh, <laughs> I've got the other one. Damn it. Oh, okay. What? Crap. I've got the other one. Uh, what's your plan here? You just want to like move up to them? There we go. I'm following. Okay, we're almost there. I'll go right, you go left. <laughs> Set himself up perfectly for that. Are we just going to this thing? Like, what's the plan? Uh oh, oh, nice. He took out the other dude. Good to go. Okay, we should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Another That's alarm. So fast. There's another alarm. Oh, great. You of course. This one? Wait here. Follow the red wire. Oh, there it is. It's actually not bad at all. Oh, here it is. Go, go, go. One, two, three. All right, go. You got it. Yeah. Hurry. Okay, okay. Go. Hurry up. Easy. Slowly. Easy. There we go. this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, I'll just let you do what you ask if you're right. Right. Head to the fountain. The fountain? Oh, that fountain? Nice.
What? He didn't even see me. Shoot. Oh, that was so sketchy. That honestly is so sketchy. <laughs> All right, come around, my dear. Damn it. What? This dude. You didn't see anything. Turn around, turn around, turn around. God. He's still looking this way. Sweet dreams. Uh oh. the right way god oh god no no oh, you didn't hear that now we just gotta find a way up to that window which window there's a lot of bloody windows this window oh that window bro pushing me out the way Not bad. That was kind of smooth. I mean, almost got caught like two times, but we took him out beforehand. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, tranquilizers. Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? I know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. Bu kutulara bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Bu bizim görevimiz değil ki. Bunlar ne ki zaten? Eski sergiden kalan eşyalar. Good thing he had the uh, uh he had a good view of the okay, other guy. Something with wheels. This is very heavy. There, that'll work. Now all we need is a horse. Those rafters will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Yeah. Uh, you want me to swing? Oh, there you go. Hey, 
Eller yukarı. Eller. Thanks, <laughs> mate. Good thing we have a uh, a good amount of ammo for this thing. Come on. He's holding it in his hand while climbing. So sketchy. Slowly but surely getting there. Uh, now the question is... Okay. Didn't see that entrance. All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Oh! <laughs> we landed right in front of the dude. He knocked me off. Oh, so sketch. Don't look down. Oh, so sketch. Gotcha. Pull me up. You put on weight, mate. Pull me up there. Oh, shit, that was close. All right, no more donuts for you. To the right. There's a guy above you. There's a guy above you. Oh. Yep, got him. There's a guy below you. There's a guy below you. What? Okay, okay, okay. supply in here. Oh, yeah, grab on. Great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you. Nighty night. I missed. Ah, shit. Too far. Shit. Range lousy. Like Very what lousy. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. There we go. So good thing their uh, footsteps aren't as loud as they they could be. Okay, we're clear. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we 
go. I don't trust oh, Clinton there anymore. it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And... Whoa. Let me see that. I've had. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shambhala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we've really got to go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Ooh. Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Hard feelings. Oh god. They already have snipers. Flynn. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, no. now I'm screwed. Okay. Alright, alright. Think, Nate, think. Catch my chalishma. Yeah, there it is. <sighs> Go quick. Yeah, this way, this way. <laughs> All right. Use your head, Nate. Use your head. Oburada! Thing you know. Oh god. Swamp thing's gonna show up next. Oh god, there's so many. It's a good thing they have bad aim. Gotta get to that ladder. <laughs> See ya, suckers.
overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show insane. here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn <laughs> minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole Listen, for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships in Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Revenge Nate Look, is the best Nate. They called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue. Larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. So, are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're nailed. We're getting close. <laughs> All right, uh, one sec. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom real quick and then we'll go ahead and continue. So, BRB.